going. Five homers he hit in the first round. Also in the first round, Tina Martinez and his Larry Beal would say, Aloha means goodbye. He also hit five homers in the opener. Jeff Bagwell, first round success. Bags, and as Stuart Scott would say, oh yeah. Four first round homers. Ken Griffey Jr. needing one more homer to advance to the second round. And Jr. came up short, so Bagwell would advance with his four home runs. Larry Walker was next. Larry Walker bidding to become a 400 hitter. Relying on the power, as Kenny Mayne would say, I'm amazed by the simplicity of this game. Lights out. Taking a few bulbs with him in the W. Walker again. And as Rich would say, got it. <laughs> 462 feet. Let's just recycle all these home run calls. Chris Berman. 479 feet. Walker hit nine first round homers. Mark McGuire is amazed. Second round action, as Carl Ravage likes to say, when he sees players hit home runs, two words. Yard work. Mark McGuire, two second round homers. If he hit that sign, a fan would have received a million bucks. Tino Martinez. Mark, you're done. Tino Martinez. Kind of sneaking up on people this season, as Steve Lee would say, get out of town, and I mean it. Tino had eight second round homers. But the story was Larry Walker. As Keith Oberman, former Sports Center anchor, used to say, it's deep, and I don't think it's playable, Dan. I miss Keith. He had nine homers in the second round. He and Martinez would advance to the finals in the finals. Martinez would prevail as Craig Kilborn, former ESPN Sports Center anchor, would say, it's baseball's special moment. It's deep. Martinez hits three homers. Walker hits one. And Tino Martinez is your home run derby issued earlier but the only storm was around former Indian Lofton getting welcomed back to Cleveland with a standing O and Albert with a bit different welcome. Honorary Captain Larry Doby throwing out the first pitch to Sandy Alomar Jr. who would play a role in this game later on top of the first inning Randy Johnson on the hill starting for the American League facing Craig Biggio Johnson the strikeout looking to the first batter of the game Larry Walker waiting to face the big unit but he wouldn't see him till the second because Johnson strikes out Barry Bonds to end a one two three top of the first bottom of the first inning home run derby champ Tino Martinez hits this shot off Greg Maddox down the right field line just foul. Martinez would ground out against Maddox. Flashback to 1993. Remember Randy Johnson throwing the pitch over John Crook's head? Of course you do. We've shown it 700 times in the last week. Crook couldn't believe it. Well, in the second inning of this game against Walker, Johnson does the same thing. The Crook ball to Larry Walker. Walker can't believe it. Walker, instead of having a fake heart attack, decides to turn his helmet around and take a pitch from the right side of the plate. Walker steps in, said he hadn't done this since 1989 in instructional league, but he's up right-handed, takes ball one, or ball two, actually, then moves back to the left side of the plate and ends up walking. Bottom of the second, still no score. Edgar Martinez goes deep off Greg Maddox. The solo shot puts the American League up one to nothing. Sandy Alomar liked the swing, hoping he could do the same. Top of the third against the Rocket. Craig Biggio hits the grounder. Robbie Alomar with six straight gold gloves. Throws one of them at the ball. And gets Biggio at first. More good defense. Jeff Blauser, the little roller. Cal Ripken bare hands it and throws him out. Maybe Ripken will win a gold glove at third to go with the ones he has at short. Bottom of the fifth. Ripken, the shot right back up the middle. Kevin Brown, glad to still have his head attached after that one. Top of the sixth, Pat Henkin facing Tony Gwynn. Gwynn grounds one to the hole, and Joey Cora makes the nice play to get the National League batting champ. Bottom of the sixth, still a pitcher's duel. one nothing American League. Pedro Martinez gets Mark McGuire looking. McGuire still looking for his first all-star homer. Top of the seventh, Javi Lopez facing Jose Rosado. Lopez in his first all-star at bat. Doinks one off the fair pole to tie the game at one. He's the 11th player to hit a homer in his initial all-star appearance. Bottom of the seventh, still tied 1-1. Bernie Williams at second. Sandy Alomar goes deep into the bleachers at Jacobs Field. Off Sean Estes. The American League goes up 3-1. Alomar's first all-star homer. The first homer by an Indian all-star since Rocky Calavito in 59. 
Yeah, Skipper likes it a lot. Alomar named the first player to win the MVP in his home park as the American League goes on to win this one three to one. Brady Anderson and Edgar Martinez had four of the American. Tiger prospect Frank Catalano, break me off a little something up. Frank, he would add a double to this home run. Three nothing American League. Bottom two, Dodger prospect Paul Cornico facing Red Sox prospect Brian Rose. Cornico hits a shot to left field. Bounces off the wall in Des Moines, Iowa. Cornico held to a single. Next batter, Rockies Todd Helton, who won the AAA home run contest. Todd trying to get his hit on. He's going to put this one opposite field. Deep to left, but caught at the warning track by Danny Clyburn. Rose, the pitcher, gave up just one hit in two innings. Bottom seven, 5-3 American League. Tying run at the plate. Rockies Craig Council could A, be the man, or B, hit into a 4-6-3 double play. Started by Catalanato. Try option B. Catalanato wins the MVP. AL wins a game.